Former Nyeri Town Member of Parliament Wambagun Gunjari on Sunday, May 7, highlighted different reasons for the chaos that rocked the Jubilee Party noting that there were steps former President Uru Kenyatta could take. According to Ngunjiri, Uru reached the apex of his political career and could not go beyond that point as he had been head of state. He stated that it was important for him to step aside and let other people lead the party to avoid criticism from members of the public. Further, he stated that Uru may not be able to handle the necessary move needed to ensure the party continues to grow because he had already taken sides. According to Ngunjiri, one team at Jubilee believes that the way to go is to refute the last elections and delegitimize the current government while another team has accepted the reality of having a government and moving forward. The former MP stated that the members of Jubilee were often excluded from meetings and press conferences held by the Azimio coalition. He noted that it was the members of parliament who represented a party and if the Jubilee MPs did not show up then it showed they were not in solidarity. Ngujiri also noted that members of the Jubilee party were left out of the list of representatives who would represent the Azimio coalition in the bipartisan talks. He noted that it was an indication that the members of Jubilee were not considered valuable assets in the coalition. Two factions are laying claim to the leadership of the former ruling party, one led by Jeremiah Kearney and the other by Kane Nikega. The former president is under siege after Kega's faction appointed Sabinich as party leader, replacing Uru Kenyatta. Kega's wing further kicked out David Murad. In a rejoinder, Kearney terminated the membership of Kega and Sabina, further fueling the divisions within the former giant party. However, Sabina got reprieve in Parliament after Speaker Moses Watangula gave Azimio 30 days before they can seek to replace her as the coalition's deputy whip. Mm -hmm.